Okay? So, okay, muna tayo. Ito yung isa sa atin mga pangiliwa. Na, para sa new topic na, uh, if the concept that we know we're all familiar with most of the time, since we were children, I think we've been exposed to various systems, but teaching it in the context of the life sciences and in the delivery of that care is something that we, I think, we have not had a problem with. Okay? I myself have my family only because I in the shop side, and we always study organization of culture, study institutional norms, then how this, uh, how all of this affect our health science education is something we have to just really integrate and experiment with. Okay? So that's our background, son, so I turn up as a Okay. What are our session outcomes? Uh, as well, we always begin with the hands in mind. And after this session, we hope that you will involve all of us to be able to discuss the principle and systems based approach to healthcare. See, it is to go to nothing about what to learn, what to teach. But uh, because you are the teachers, you will also be what you expect of you. Even some of the instructional scenario. Suggest how is it going to be able to do that? So, for their background check, we have and we're doing it the outcome based way, and we hope that um, you will also appreciate the uh, things that I will suggest here, because it will be fun to get some of our experiences of various instructional techniques. So, let's begin with the things. So, let me also be some why. Why do we have to teach systems based approach in our courses if we have science tech? Well, we teach, we have to teach systems based approach because it is a program outcome. It is required that in all programs in the have science tech, graduates should be able to promote the use of systems approach in the delivery of that care. These are common, these are outcomes common to all health related professions. So, from the physicians to the dentists to the neurologic technologists to the medical technologists, all of these are nine uh, abundant people by this level. All these nine program outcomes include promoting the use of system control for the delivery of healthcare. Okay, so that for all that science schools. For that time, see, and most are already available skills for the doctors, the dentists, the nurses, the PTs, but they delivery, even the doctor of optometry, everybody that promotes a check recommend to all. And what is citing next? But then program outcomes in medicine. In the last pagdating to the physicians school. We only have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have six. Okay. You are supposed to be guided by the provincial and higher education camera before their number 18. Okay? At 18, this was uh, released by Chen in 2016. And from the 10th program outcome of medicine, we're expected. Uh, outcomes from graduates of the end of the program, number six is utilize system based approach to healthcare. So it's not just stipulated in the genetic general list of all program outcomes for all that kind of school, it is especially emphasized in the next policy program. Number six, then some four. Specifically it talks about utilizing system based approach in after delivery of care. And then working with relevant partners to solve these kind of health problems. So, this is in recognition to uh, the physicians of the 21st century who are not just, who shouldn't be confined with their clinics or their hospitals. And now, they have to have a good one. To have a good one, to have a good one, to have a good one. Okay. 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 There is a commission on higher education member for their nursing program. 
Garcia No. 15, hearing of 2017, those are accounts specific to BSN. Siyempre, yung lahat ng ito ay bibigyan lang sa J, ang O. Para i-view nung at the whole thing, they are already complementing or ready for each other that it's a whole system that should be a good thing. What the students know and where to think that students will be able to demonstrate what they know. Okay? Kasi diba, ito naman ay hindi collection na sa independent knowledge and skills and attitude. They should be the right blending, the right combination of knowledge, skills and attitudes that the students or new graduates should be able to make use of given the proper setting. Okay? Kaya laging application niyo CSQ mga learning outcomes of BSN. But you see, this specifically again, uh, worded in a different way, number uh, five, six, seven, work that will be in collaboration with inter in planning multidisciplinary and multicultural teams. And then number, uh, number five, six, seven, eight, practice beginning management and leadership skills with delivery of client care using assistance approach. So, Try to support the nursing faculty here. One, two, three, four. Is there nurse at the back? Okay, one, two, three, five, six. Okay, seven. Okay, sino yung profession na iba? Tell me to dentist. Uh, maybe victory, you can do it kayo. What other professions are represented in our uh, group today? Aside from uh, PT, sino yan, yan po ang PT? Okay, but we are talking. Okay, nasa CFO naman ng PT uh, kayo ay 55, CFO 55 kayo. Okay, tapos na uh, pedagogic, occupational therapist. Kasi yung 52 naman, eh, hindi na nasa, nasa ano, yung hindi na magkakawag na profession. Okay, okay. So, magkakapareho kayo ng visual, it's a galing kasi sa kanita. Uh, Saan po kayo galing? What pressure is it also? Sa? Ang Iodokyo, ang Mang Rodriguez? Ang Mang Da, hindi ba yung pareho ng Iodokyo? Ang Mang Rodriguez, sa saan po yun? Sa Maynila? Ah, sa Marikina. Ang dahil mo din, ang dalilan ko. Di ba sa layo ko sa Marikina? Ah, sa Kabite eh. Kung bakor lang, mas malayo ko. Saan ko? Okay. So, ayun, welcome po. Kasi nakakapag-ihan sa'yo natin sa dogs. So, so, what is sila? Gloria <laughs> siya. Okay. Pag maliban sa cover slide, pag-apat na tao. Okay. So, I hope that by this uh, slide, you're already convinced that there is a legal, political, and administrative basis why we have to teach distance-based approach. Okay? Siyempre, dahil teacher tayo at expect na ituro ang system-based approach, then the first thing we have to do is to come together with system-based approach. Ano bang concept ko ito? Ano ang ginagawa natin? We all work within a system. So we are familiar with systems. Everything has a system. There's a system by which you can come to this seminar. Okay, there's an announcement you receive online or through word of mouth of your colleagues and then uh, you decided to block this place and then you got into the uh, into the institute floor you registered with other secretariat and then you are here. This is a short system but it's a structure by which things are done. So alam niyo, alam natin lahat ng systems. Okay? But when we talk about teaching the system with approach kailangan natin alam natin yung mga basic principles. I'm not going to deal, kasi ito ay isang disiplina na eh. Okay? There is a systems theory that you learn in organization and management. There is a systems thinking, which is a, I think, 162-page document that uh, the WHO is distributing for all that science schools use. There is a systems-based approach from the uh, academe, and I'm choosing only two references here, which you can access the list of these references are at the end of this presentation. And I'm going to Ray, Hoffman, Rosman, and Al, editors, and they published in, 19, in 2005. 
in any unexpectedness, yes, very simple definition of position place because in the context of that care. Okay? Moving from the current conglomeration of independent entities to our system will require that every participating unit recognize its dependence and influence on all other units. So, dito pa lang sa background, makikita rin natin na even if everybody knows practically what the system is, the pattern, the tradition is, we work in silos. We have, we build barriers and walls and fences. And so we talk about only these forces and we fail to relate to other forces. I talk only about my needs and I don't talk about our, about other needs. But moving from the current conglomeration of independent, we're trying now in the 21st century to become more conscious of dependent, of interdependence. Okay? And what does this mean? Its unit must not only achieve high performance, but must also recognize the imperative of joining with other units to optimize the performance of the system as a whole. So when you're in a gobierno, you have you must be very familiar with this because we have the productivity based bonus principle. This PBB, Private Business Finance President Aquino, grants 65% of the whole gross salary of all employees whose units or offices are evaluated as best performance offices. At least across the board, if your office is evaluated as best performing unit, you get a PDP of 65% of your growth. Maybe zero. Okay, if you're earning like 100,000 per month or more than 100,000 per month, you get a PDP of 65% of your growth. But, if you there, pwede kang maging best. No, NPPC is best. Okay, kasi hindi huwag na kami sana. May 65% of the gross money. Problem is, we cannot be best and the rest of you, yung Manila units are not best. So, may yung ganung connection yung mga tao. Kasi system pa yun. Yun ang ibig sabihin yung each unit must not only achieve high performance. Best man tayo, high performance, exceeding expectations. But if the other units are not doing the same thing or not performing at the same level, we still could not call it outside a good and competent system. Moreover, this individual care provider must recognize these or their dependence and influence of other healthcare team members, especially in different fields, pharmacies, nurses, social workers, psychologists, therapists, and others. These are the underlying attitudes that support the system's support to solve the problems. Okay, so first reflection question that you have to deal with is how ready are you in opening up to work with others? Okay, when was the last time that you called a colleague to help you teach a course? When was the last time that you approached a non-professional in your department and you sought a favor that you will use for your classes. I call on one person. Did you have what well, uh, in the recent past have you called on a person, a colleague, outside your profession to help you teach a call that you're teaching? Okay, because the team of other nurses and some data. Okay, and be bad way. Pero, kung ikaw ba system, 
เส้นที่กินอะไรกินเฟอร์ก็ไม่รู้ดีกว่าใช่ถูกต้องตามนี้ persistence เส้นที่จะบอกโอเคส่วนโอเคไซโด persistence base เอ๊ะถ้าที่นี่คือนี่ต้องใช้มาไอ้ component growth line ยุ่ง persistence base approach นี่แหละไอ้ parent simplify มันไอ้ four level model beginning with of course the patient or the client okay แต่ที่ยุ่งที่เป็น both the level go pati na ko ay lang na doon sa system kasi after all we talk about healthcare delivery let's talk about delivery healthcare to patients so ang main interest at was every care team so hindi yung teachers ha care team the frontline care providers of the emergency people the daily responders all the way to the organization infrastructure resources at was the regulation of the environment Uh, if, for example, this is the Department of Health that takes care of regulation procedures, which is the hospital standards for system level one. This hospital qualifies for level two and level three. This affiliation center qualifies as for accreditation and so forth and so forth. Okay? Even the mga center, the mga immunizations, the handling of vaccines, and the data, kaya ang gulong bong ng dong, dahil sa big box siya, ikaw ba yung papakula pa, pagkatapos ang nangyari. Siyempre, yung mga natin niya, di ba po yung pinakalarn? Yung may sabi niya, ang nagsip ka, yung gulong sa araw, since the dead box of care, immunization program has gone down to parang 16% pa lang. Wala nang nagpapapakulungan. Hindi siya, hindi, that puts everybody at risk. That was a hero of the regulatory program, but that also means involvement of the organization. So, that's what I'm talking about now. 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 Let's talk about something very new. You know what I'm talking about now? You know, last week, what did this Congress approve? You know, Adi, The minimum age of criminal responsibility reduced from 12 years old to 9. Kaya may anak ang 9 years old, sabi mo na ako, hindi mo hindi na mong 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 Tapos pag sinabi, regular na pano, yung masyadong behavior, yung father, may makikita mo na parang gano'n na gano'n lagi. Ako tulong mo. Siyempre, regular na yung akong mga pre-depression, at yung lahat ng mga mga So, dyan yung makikipag may system that is today. Well, ang istorya ay, it's a bit of effective. If the system committed to do things a certain way, it is different. Pero alam ko lang yung system. Tapos siyempre, at the end of the time, gusto mo makita, makita niyo mo ba yung pasit na sa YouTube? Mga doka. Excuse me, I was going to be sorry. So, okay. Can I? I was going to be like us. They kill in the malls. They kill in the streets. They kill in the bus and the jeepneys. Are you still laughing? Are you still laughing? Is that the change that you want? Is that the change that you want? Maybe, ano yun? Isang sistema na nagpapok siya. Okay? Ako sumunod din sa media. Part ng media. Hindi, hindi hindi ko din siya. Nakalagay. Ang dami picture. Ibong Pobodilia, Ibong Pobodilia, and they did help ito, at saka ng mga siya ang video. Pinalaya. Kaso sa baba, mga lima, siya ang nataong bata ang video. Nag-rabag din. Ipulo. Yung mga ganan, makikita mo po, magandang po, kasi sa mga. Kasi sa inyo, moving the, or having all the structures in place is different, but at least they are there. Kasi yung advocacy nila at direction na pupuntahan is another story. At minsan nakakabis na yan. Minsan nakakabali. At minsan nakakapagrebente. Pero kasi tulad naman tayo sa pali-pali doon. Let's go na. Ay mga ganun at mga yeah! Okay. Galit ko. Hindi ko mo na lang i-express. Kaya siya ako na hindi naman yun. So, ayun, di ba? It's just like a crazy nito. Pero kasi dapat yung as teachers of system-based approach, we have to be conscious that there's always a system. That there are things and there are structures that should be in place to deliver healthcare. 
Okay. And in the context of education of the professional bounds, this student should know that this is transfer, as opposed to work towards the program outcomes that we get from the degree programs. Okay? So that is example. Still common to all the professionals, Ilan? Ito na kung lang na second slide ko, why it is different with those metro program outcomes at puta men. That is general to all the types of schools, I, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, the sound. So 9 plus 10 plus the other one is the first thing, W, plus 10, you open 14. Parami na parami, but there's a common thing of the denominator there in the system space. Iba natin yung system. Sana mag-work yan. And then we have to advocate that this is in place. Okay? Otherwise, saan po po tayo mga sasabi na mag-inactive? Then they are ready to practice and they are not aware that this is the case. They cannot find their place. Then you have to say that, okay, it's found out to practice. I will show you this evidence. Siyempre, you cannot see all of you. All of you know it's the back. Sa mga kalama. Nato dulo kayo, it's practice. I put a specific screenshot of uh, my uh, paper that in the published in the National Academy of Science and Technology uh, proceedings, and I uh, presented this. The title of my paper is The Social Reproductive the Medical Profession. So I'm talking about the medical education experience. And I got this, this is a general replica of non graffiti that I uh, I copy it from one of the inferns all those there. Okay? So, Shepherd Secret was at school, that's what I know. Yung mga ko, alam ko saan yan, 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 So, ano yung know, people could say? There is a consultant, who is lording it over to the fellow, who is keeping the senior resident, and the senior resident will have, because they are already abused by the consultant and the fellow, they have to get even, and that means they give, give the junior residents. And down the line, the junior residents keeping the interns, the medical interns, the interns keeping the nurses. Okay? Uh, in some schools, keep the nurses that keep the nurses. Yeah, diba? But in the case of I observe, in the case of I was witness to that time ago, there was a teacher at who referred to the nurse, I'm getting home to the nurse, I'm getting home to the nurse, I'm getting home to the nurse. That's not my job. To bring it to yourself. He said, I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. Because I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. Five years from now, I will already be a doctor and you will still be a nurse. And now, I'm going to be a doctor. I'm not eating. The infant is eating the nurse. Okay? And because the nurse will move them to stay, they have to get back to, you know, but keep the nurse in the same class. This is a good thing. Okay, so cool. You do do me with bigger tasks like keep finding lunch. So please take my child to the uh, uh, bed. Okay? And then the mother, since I'm the university worker, okay? The mother sits up on time. Okay, the mother carries the patients to different laboratories. But then they have to return to the room because it really cannot be done because of some people. Like, we're doing a little cookie, but the patient, but the time A. The sheriff said, the man I will scold the man, the man who will scold the man. We may have to go back to the man, to the man, to the man, again, it's you A. The sabi ni man tayo, the man is hungry. The sabi ni man tayo, the man is hungry. The man is hungry. Kainan sila ng kainanin. Guess who knows this particular? Tuckler. Because Tuckler cannot only do anybody except the germs. Okay, so it's all about this now. I was happy, and I said to this, just last day, in the department of the Department of the Year, they had a strategic planning. So all the faculty were talking to their and the next day, were there first of all. And I was surprised, when it was 
Christ, but one of the souls that said, but let me go to learn of him. But my Lord and me, I share this with my son. He is not the help of this God, he is not my protector. But his first reaction was, Mom, why is that word that the bottom of God would take? If it's that clerk, if it's that big clerk, supposed to be the patient. In the medical education milieu, the student is a client, it's a stakeholder, and it should be student centered. Even in but uh, where is the double mistake? Something is wrong somewhere. Okay? But the mistake then, Jan, I need to see the clerk, and the clerk is to that. But it is not a sunon. They're supposed to be uh, student centered and patient centered. But it's not a system, it's a good thing. So, if you are the teacher and you are teaching this type of place and girls, you better revisit this and reconcile this with it. Okay? Because if you are know you are part of this, this could change one way or another. Okay? So that's the first system. There is uh, another version, Kaplan, based on the body, growth, but systems based on growth to help is one that applies. Now, so, scientific insights to understand the elements, systems, outcomes. Models, relationships between those elements, those elements that influence health outcomes, governance, financing, human resource for health, technology and medicine, okay, and offers design processes or policies based on the result of knowledge and productivity, better health at lower costs. So, in this particular context, system based approach means effective delivery of care in the most efficient way. Okay? So, we shall be looking at that in the end, and we shall end the next one. Okay. This offers, this is a publication of the National Academies of uh, Sciences in the US, Medicine, Engineering, and uh, Sciences. Actually, in the Philippines, we have systems that have worked well, similar to this uh, list. Okay? Because of this, because of systems based approach to healthcare, there are market improvements that people talk about in these areas, like human factor engineering. There is now a worldwide call for a transformative scale up of health professionals so that schools and institutions now are more conscious of recruiting the right person with the right qualifications to the right job. Okay? Kasi nga, the PQF na tayo, the PQF qualifications framework. What is your designation? I'm a university research associate. Oh, so you can be familiar with research. Hindi ka booking. Kasi I was just promoted to this place. I was like, ah, hey, so what's your course? Get it from the carrier. How can you improve that medical secretary degree? It is how to do the film Adamson and Maria at school pala. Wala daw med sec na yun, degree. Kung ka na loob. Ano yung CPD mo? Okay? So, yan. Because of systems based approach, we are now able to identify the minimum qualifications expected of this profession. So, meron tayong human factors in the beginning. May age for age. Human resources for health. And the WHO, the Department of Health, all related agencies are seriously developing programs to capacitate the human resources for health. Children may only invest in systems engineering, improvements in technology, devices, gadgets, transportation, communication, all work as well, systems based approach. And oh, the more, the more, the more, Okay, so, 
Ano pa siya sa kabila? Hindi sa generic. Kung ano ang verso ng generic word. Good place, oh siya. Nakalim niyo. Yes. From this drugstore, he put the best. Tuwag na mahal. Kasi paano meron sa continuous na gano'n? Then, kung production systems improvement na ginagawa, para pagkakayo ng healthy drug sa kapabe, may pagkansin mo sa cost because you have more confidence or is quality assurance. But it's not so. And it's because of the great success. Okay? Modeling and simulation, predictive analytics, supply chain management, operations management, and human theory. All these four, four, five, six, seven, are examples of coming up with models. Coming up with improved procedures in order to improve uh, operation, to achieve operational efficiency. Okay? So, iba iba yan. Ito isa, right? That's the identity of your firm. Kaya yan, ito sinasabi ko ito. Yung predictive analytics, yung pagkira ng chips. Ano yung chips? Ano yung chips na? Community Health Information Tracking System. So, it is like the data of the electronic medical records. In the Department of Health, there is I-Clinic SIS. So, meron yung uh, electronic uh, data, medical records keeping, and it's because of some models that have become really efficient. Okay? Because of the data that are obtained from these chains, the researchers, the operational researchers, can make predictive analysis. In this region, the most common diseases are what we do sometimes. In this region, or this community, the most common population group affected by this disease are what we do sometimes. So if you're consciously making practical or strategic planning for healthcare delivery system, you know which to undertake to which area. And you know what professional to help to be could be assigned to that particular area. See, that's the, 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 the good thing about the system framework. It gives you rational impact for decision making. Okay? So that's the theory of system framework. This webinar, this webinar is on teaching system framework. So what I'd like to tell you now is how to teach it using the design, okay? This is called designing the own lesson plan, okay? Making a lesson plan on how to teach a particular concept, okay? Or how to achieve particular learning outcomes. Okay, you're familiar with lesson planning, the new, I mean, to me, the, the new way of making a lesson plan is writing it according to the TIPAC model. The TIPAC is the Technological, pedagogical, and content knowledge. Okay? This is not terrible, terribly difficult. Even without knowledge of TIPA, we all engage in teaching the TIPA way. When we teach, for example, nursing, vital science, we make use of technology and classes for vital science monitoring. Speak more now because the analog and design of the blood pressure uh, device, you know, the thermometer, the calculator, which uh, determine which uh, age, etc. Even the, the watch that you use, the strippers when you make a patient's portrait and heart rate, these are technological components of teaching vital science. Okay? And how you break down the technology in order to teach that device or those devices is technological knowledge. Okay? It will be back in different constructs. The first one, at no, technological knowledge. You go to the teacher training center. Okay? In TK, you what device are you going to use? For example, your TE. You make use of several technologies. Then, of your
right? Then you teach the knowledge, the content knowledge. What is swimming? What are the basic principles of swimming? What are the principles of basic, basic, vital parts of knowledge? These are the sciences of your profession. Okay? But you organize these topics because the child is to read everything. You organize it, you arrange it, you think of it in such a way that it matches the development of the of the learners. That's speaking. Your pedagogical knowledge refers to how the teacher tries to match the delivery of instruction in terms of how learners can best learn it. So here, I don't Okay. But in this case, we are also expected to be familiar with how people learn. They may engage in using online resources, they may like to use uh, devices, they might want to experiment, they may want to read the book, most of them are. So it's more to try to them learn. So the definition is that they are teaching. Okay, 
explain the function of the bones that are involved in the geologic structures that make up the digestive yeah. system. Again, the traditional curriculum is physical. This is anatomy, this is physiology. Number four, given norm, common normal phenomena, discuss the anatomic, physiologic, and biochemical structures involved in the GI tract. In the traditional curriculum, what is this book? Or what are these books? Okay, normal, so normal na anatomy, normal na biochemistry. So, may biochemistry na. Okay? So, in what year is biochemical in the traditional medical curriculum? Now, first thing pala, but you see here in the module that you have history, you have anatomy, tissue, and biochemistry. That means in one year, this person, in just one module, this person is already giving this horizontally. Okay, in 160 hours. And then number five, given sample conditions, explain how the anatomy, physiology, and biochemical structures involved in the DNA. Right. So there will be sample conditions which may not necessarily be normal, otherwise, people are not going to be So, who is the clinical condition? Okay, what is the physiology? What is the physiology? Aiming person. And you aiming person na yan, pwede bata, pwede matanda, pwede babae, etc. So, in other words, kung 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 sa number 5, you do it the modular way, you're doing it vertically integrated na din. Because these clinical courses in the traditional curriculum are only taught in the higher level courses. Great? Okay tayo? Okay? Paano yung tuturo? How do it is? Okay. Sure, the GI 
Lebanon and was the elderly across the year of the lifestyle, his things become different. Okay, life was a bringing regular kind of species. Okay, but not at all. And then, and then, of course, in the middle of the year. So, para lang yung trip na pag-aaralan mo with your students with nice groups or groups, and when you organize this, you involve systems. You can have your BGAs, yeah. And then, unless or I anatomy. Okay? How do you teach it? 39 hours, combination of lecture, laboratory, model discussion, and field practical. That should be FC. Now, it's a combination of time and income, skills lab, or dissection. Pag nagpag-dissect, hindi ka sa kanalang yung pag-dissect mo. In case, the laboratory technician, get the specimen, and make sure that you have the right technology for the laboratory studies and complete one group discussion. Okay, it is one group discussion, group group of human insights about the human insights sa sa ito. Human insights, di ba yung pinag-dissect by this na mga local no? Okay? So, naka-three, naka-week one na tayo. Week two. Learning outcome three na. Function na. Some digestive system. Okay? So, yun pa rin, then, 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 then. Iba na ako, ang dami na pala din. And technology knowledge could be of selected sites and videos again, such as we have. Pero ito na ka pahira. Mix to the syntax and small words in individualized settings. Kasi yung functions nito ay itaan na nila nila yung sign. Okay, alam na nila yung organs that you know how each of the organs will function. And if I uh, yung dapat yung pinapat ng puro sa istudyante, again, the lecture, the lab, the SGB, colloquium with other health science students. In a colloquium, you involve your students will to interact with other students in the sciences like the pharmacies, like the medical students. In UP Manila, there is a regular colloquium where the students in the sciences make the presentation from their collective case studies. But she shares it at all. And I found that the colloquium is not a sociology of the Vietnam. But the fact that one is even, she said, among the Human beings, or in human beings, yun yung common natin, yung anatomy at physiology natin. Pero, nakalit ako sa sociologist kasi ito, yun ako makita ng mga ito. Alam niyo ba, ang need, ang mas akin, there's a reason to believe that the philosophy of Tito Kepler is grounded on his very, very special appreciation of the German Citizens, anak. Anak ko ni Tante. Nung isang sini na pinalabas at pagkakot yung mga presyo, kaya nakalok siya ang grandma, the poor, in Arian Grace, ay meron na superiority ang anak ko ni Tante in comparison to all other races. May measurement ang tindong, ang mata, ang ito, kaya pati may egg. Sabi ko, e wala akong leeg, na hindi na mapapakaka mo ng German. Pero nakakatuwa siyang panoorin, kasi hindi ko, di ba, kaya tayo na yun siya. But this is one person who appreciates the pattern of the human race. Ang mga German, kaya ano, tingnan niyo yung mga German sa pwede mo. Tingnan niyo kung meron yung mga common denominator, yung gilid na nyo, kasi yung mga gilid, malaking pag-sikilay din ba? Kaya tayo pinitinipay pa natin mga hindi natin sa mga pamakin ko mo at baka ba ka pa. Huwag nga ba talaga talaga sa bando? E kung mga hindi na pinitinipay pa ako? Huwag! Hindi na yung fly. Sa'yo. Sa'yo. Pero yun! Merong journals na pwede yung i-activate ang pasakit para mapagkaralan ng pag-present ng anatomy at physiology. So pwede yung mag-tulog niyo. And then start na ng evidence-based. So, what is going on? That's me too. Okay? So, sana para nung ginagawa ko yung pagtama ko para na ito exciting niya. Para hindi ganyan siya yung subject. Okay? Siyempre, objective for na tayo. Learning on some form. Normal, sinong nila na. Siyempre, sinong tawag hindi normal na sa akin. 
So, we clean it off for hours na. Then, we clean up pa rin. Okay? Dito, normal na siya. So, kailangan na natin ma-appreciate yung digestive system in the context of human being activities. So, if we say, okay, if you are talking about digestive system, anong function ang mag-pagity at ang PDP na GI? Yan ang sakit na bawat isang taon ni kanito. Ilang tao? Anong population groups? Okay. You expose your students to food. It's food setting. Food and food setting. Kasi di ba? Food and food setting. Ay, bago mong buha yun. Bago mong magkiyado, ano gina? Ano posisyon? Makaupo ako never. Tapos ano kung hindi po? O, di ba? Para sige. O, pero ako may kaupo. Kaya may hindi siya yung maraming baka. Then, kung ito hindi lang hindi yung tao, then, kung ginagawa na, seryoso yung ma-affect sa anak, ika-affect na nawa ng seven floors. Kasi, yun yung kanyang body seven floors. Kasi, thank you, ha? Kasi, yun yung papahalo ng PDA seven floors. Okay? Para, anong purpose ng technology na yan? Then, yun yung simulation na yun. Ang purpose ay, makita ko, na-influence lang ba ng kilos? Pag-unang pagkain. Kung kayo kumakain na habang kumakain na naglalakan, yung pagkakarit mo ko ito. Kala ko sa gaya ko nila. A journey of a cookie. Ako ba? A journey of a cookie ko. Kung wala sa binigin mo sa system, wala sa binigin mo. At kayo ko ako sa binigin. Kasi kung yun ay school canteen, dapat yung school canteen ko ito. No soda. Bawal na rin yung din, pag natuloy na yung din, kasi yung hindi ako, diba? Bawal na sobra, wala sobra yung patampos. Hindi pa po, jack kinakain. Or cooking, hindi yung cooking jack po. The journey of cooking, wala ka pinili mo sa baba, kinahin mo habang gumana ko, kasi yung break mo, kasi ako kayo mo niya, hindi yung mga ibigin. Ano nangyayari ko sa pagkain? Diba yung journey na niya na yun? No, wala natin mo gano'n, ano ka? Wala. Hindi naman gano'n ang pinay na alam na yun. Kaya kahit na, Basta masarap ito yung pindihin. Okay. Then if the system varies a little bit, then then you have movements or no movements. Okay? Tapos ito na. Dark loop, small loop, tapos ito yung public, common phenomenon. Phenomena pala. Kasi ito ba pala may phenomena? At parang nila lang parang may ang statuses mo. May lecture, may lab, may STD, may system. May internal club for paper. Okay? And, ang consciousness mo dito sa learning outcome for is the selection of cases. Okay? Kasi, normal consciousness na yan. Selection of cases. Okay? Para meron kang consciousness na yung context ng isang case, nari dito sa school, sa isang primary school, nasa home center, nasa hospital setting, yung mga kapatid sa mga buhay ng buhay. Tapos, nasa community set. Ano yung mga kachak siyempre? Kapag ka na yung doon ka, doon ba na kinakalim? Lagyan mo yan ng ng kalim. At pwede mo na rin ipaliwanag yun. Ano yung kaso? Kapag wala kinakalim. Okay? So, isang historia na yun. Pag ito ka na doon sa uh, social consciousness system. And then, this is the three. So then, it's four. 150 hours na tayo. Okay? Pag na inabal mo yan na-assess early, yun ang section natin, yun ang session natin sa Federal Policy sa Kenya Sato. Yung mga conference at PDRC. Assessing the strategic approach of your event. Okay? So, ang dulo, sa animation ng Apple Clinic, it is the workplace gift na. Tadali nyo na sila sa mga, oh, okay, na pag-unity, nasa bahay, Siyempre, pwede mo na magdalim yung community sa online resources. And this time, you can physically, but virtually just meet students in large resources. Pwede, pwede ka magpagawa ng assignment na mag-explain ng mga medical conditions. Okay? Thoughts is uh, hungry. But she didn't eat until, uh, ibawa, she didn't eat for the last uh, eight hours. Okay? Until we have that happens around once, twice, four times a week because of work, and one day it was a plane of stomach pain. 
Ay, kung kaya ang hindi siyang bahay na yan. So, sasagot ko lang ito sa case list, kaso is I. Nyari. Okay? Let's show it out. This is password for the top. Then, yung art and MTV and case list, kaso is I. Kaso na, context mo yung pinatabi ko. Routine. Pablo. This is this. Yung iba naman, kumain ka ng ekwet at padre pauta. Aba, eh, di ba tapos maroon makain yung lahat ng kapapagay sa kwerto? Hindi sa tumungkat sa lamesa niya para magbalik sa trabaho. Direct sa lamesa. Okay. Hindi ko ba sila ng condition na dito? Kaya ang dami mga ang kapitin, ba? So, the idea is just to make the students appreciate that just adding the DI or that you gain writing the whole picture of use knowledge base by a telescope. Tapos, you also have the chance to show the other things. Okay, I'll take the definition. Sino ito na dito? Pagka ito ay okay. Okay? So, ayun na. Lesson number one ng MD. Ay na kayo? You have the idea na? Ay pwede na mong ngayon magtalong-talong kung mayroon ang isapan mo. This is one one nine. First thing to detect the knowledge then. If the same of fifteen to seventeen, this is the same way course na mga example na course design ni kung ano yung tema. Okay? So ginaya ko lang sa ay this is a screenshot the same of twelve. Sample is actual design ni kita ay. I don't know where this message with the system I understand, so I'm assuming this is still in the position of set up na iwalay-iwalay subjects. Okay? Hindi ko kaya kanina, but it is a modular platform. In NCN 119, it's application of concepts, principles, theories, and methods of management and leadership, as well as the ethical, legal, moral, professional responsibility for the nurse. So that's our expected to perform within professional management and leadership skills. And to apply sound, ethic, moral, and legal decision making in the hospital, community-based settings. Students are likewise expected to apply with professional standards and leadership practice. Thank you. This is the one semester course, equivalent to seven units. Four units of theory, three units of related learning experiences, and Equivalent to 160 hours. Okay. But this is, meron pang component na 20-30% dependence time. Pag-alit sa all the time. Ano na yung first year yung digestion, and no fourth year. Okay? 50-30. I click shot again, ka, of class. Even group of clients, individuals, families, populates, local communities, they have problems, the student will apply principles of leadership and management effectively. Fourteen, fourth of class. Okay. Kasama dyan ang systems-based approach. Actually, lahat yan is systems in. And then, man, you can be on. Apply and management and systems. Three systems yan. First, in service, we have to do the safety. And the main thing, yeah. Kasi this is exclusive for one and nine. Okay? Let's do it with impact way. This time, I cannot afford to have one impact for all the people, for each of the four things. Sabi ko haba yun. Tutulungan ko na ito. So, gino ako siyang pakiyaw. From course outcomes, one, three, and five. That's course outcomes, one, two, four things. Okay? Four things na. Yun na sa CN ko. Ang sample na kulitulo, do you remember how it's discussed in the city? Okay, so I did check it. Ano yung ano parang? Hindi. Ako sa akin. O hindi, hindi. Dari daw ko sa. Nakalagin kasi sa pinin mo 70. Yeah, 15. 2017. Parang, ano ba sa? Apat na pahina. Two pages are they don't get the definition of parenting. Distinguished nursing leadership and management. 
affirming the role and the responsibilities of the whole as in terms. In terms. Okay? My objection there is you have four years for this. They have man who suck out the skin and such a lady in order to be careful. And they know. They should know. It's earnest. They may not be able to define it in the most scientific way, but they should know one that they see one. Okay? So, you know, I'm going to keep up. At technology college, online videos of nurses in actual settings showing both the real and the medical practice. And you're not going to be in one for this technology education. Okay? Hundreds, if not hundreds of thousands of footages of real world practices of Filipino, huh? Filipino nurses with problems in their workplaces. The physical, methodological knowledge students can be physically or virtually in various models in the setting. As in ready, you go to assign the group of students in the other group, give them specific cases, okay, assign them to read and analyze certain online materials, prepare them for some tasks so that when they meet in class, they are ready for assessment. So what you give from the model? Okay? And of content knowledge. Of course, what is stipulated in the same Basic principles of leadership and management, the roles and responsibilities of the nurses, the scope of practice of the nurse in the community, types of organization and planning. As if we think of some session, I know, and remember this is good for 20 hours. Let and hard and keep. Okay? Some of us of consistency based on those matters of people. They go, you leave the students to certain sites. Okay? I will show you some sites in a short run. You will see pictures of nurses, a little nurse in the Sun Medical Center. See, probably Bahala. See, all over India. The nurse who was admonished by the media because a parent of brain but his uh, mother and her baby was given a passport to transfer at night. The reason was because they had price and everybody could have When the mother complained to the medical director, guess what the reaction of the medical director was? He didn't it. Okay. The, the medical director surprisingly said, Oh, but we do that all the time because we want our staff to sleep. So it's a norm. The only things are done in that office medical center. So and you know, Madam, it violates all the uh, principles of theories. And leadership. And when you get to that side, there are other sides that you hear. And then you so then you have to face it. Okay? You will not find yourself in one of these technological reasons. Check that of the mass of the system, but you can apply this a layer layer. From the basement to the front line caretakers to the organization and to the environment. Okay, it's still a high environment. We want the nurses to work. And yeah, and that's what I propose that part. So that no, we have to work from the lecture to the high school. Okay? Lecture, not necessarily case discussion in the journal club, but they special on focus class. They use case discussion for using evidence based practice in journal research. Since they found, not that the name of the man. He, you will make you, you will ask them to make further report then. So you will for my own, you will make you of the given in the case, and then they have to find or explain, they rationalize what are the roles and responsibilities for the nurses violated. And maybe ask them further to make a set of recommendations by which the systems could be improved. 
Eh siapa itu? Anu kan direkto. Apa? Masih kita tak nanti ya para mak atau lupa yang mana juga. Ini sistem dan jadi sistem kita. Okay, baik. Sama pangkat yes. Kau tidak sedang berbuat kau ini. Ia berbelas itu sangat besar. Siapa? Okay. So, and then sample of technology and very big factors for the online. Yung isa dito, yung original dito, yung in-lash na GMA online. Nasa GMA online, yung original niya. Kaya ang tawag nila ni Moore at Tom Howard. So, Tilly Gilly's mouth. Tom Howard Hart, okay, nasa Inquirer. So, tapos, Tom Howard first month, month practice. Ito dito, combination of long month and so on. Pero, sorry, I hindi magpapagayo. Okay? Itong mga mga practices dito, mga malingan basin, okay, doctorate, the problem knows, okay, advising the, the paying patient to keep the service, but keep the comparison with another. So those things are kayo, mga kapagana ng hindi magpapagayo. Okay? So, it's about, you know, spending one session, like, equivalent to one hour, but that would have defined terms. Why don't you just put them in a workplace situation and they will make use of the terms? Okay? Still child, oh yeah. And then, Shepard, you can still go for the completion of the first time. Appreciation that there is a person. In the other games, I'm just going to get to the point of the first game. Supply of medicine. In one place is overflowing. In another place, there's none, virtually none. But in another place, the medicine are expired. If you will engage your students in the technical planning, now they call it public health nurse, you will have to make them engage in that sense of where they will appreciate how supplies of medicine. One of my topics here, I think we did with our staff. We are training performance management of research and development. And we have projects uh, involving uh, supply chain management, logistics management, health planning, and uh, monitoring and evaluation of things. All you have to do is to give that big question. Okay, so how much time are you? Because you have to keep up. You can answer, how much time are you? But you have to keep up. You need to make it keep up. Because if you type the keyboard, it's safe. And that's in that of us. Everything is at your physical back. You have to be discreet and to make this one is to do. Okay? So, thank you. Basic na basic na logistic management. This is optional. Don't need to wash it. Hindi mo talaga ako wala siya. It's only 8 minutes. Ang patihan ko siya. Okay. Okay. Pero ang bago kong ganito, you just have to identify the correct size. Okay. Kasi ito, kung kilalak yun ng teacher, kilalak yun ng nurse ng 4 hours, pag ito sinalak, pinapalabas ko na, So, so much that I go in the classes, I've been studying now. You have a direction. So, you have to ready to compromise on the topic because you have to be able to break it or be up here. Okay? Let's see if this works. Okay. Ako yung boomer, inaaral ko pa kung paano magpawa na kanyan. Hindi yung banda, pag-aibang sumaksesul ako, yung mga rin ang isa. What is a supply chain? A supply chain is a global network. Use the deliver products and services from raw materials to end customers through an engineered flow of information, physical distribution, and cash. Basic supply chain for a product. The below figure illustrates a very basic supply chain with three entities, a producer with one supplier and one customer. 
Four basic flows that connect the supply chain entities together are as follows. Flow of physical materials and services from suppliers to the end customer. Flow of cash from the customer to the raw materials supplier. Flow of information back and forth along the chain. And reverse flow of product returned. The basic supply chain in this figure is made up of these entities. Seller is a supplier who provides goods and services, or a person or organization with whom the buyer does business. Their generic term in marketplace is seller. Supplier provides materials, energy, services, or components for a product or service, such as plastic, fabric, electric wiring, or aircraft. The producer is the one who receives components from the seller to produce a finished good or service, such as shirts from fabric, crockery from plastic, power from electric wiring, or provides transportation through aircraft. The customer is the one who receives the finished product, that is the one who wears those shirts, uses the crockery, turns on the lights, or flies in an aeroplane. Strategies there are three types of supply chain strategies, stable, reactive, and efficient reactive. Stable supply chain strategy is appropriate for chains that are focused on execution, efficiencies, and cost performance. They use simple connectivity technologies and have little need for real-time information. For example, table salt manufacturing uses scale production and dedicated capital assets. Reactive supply chain strategy works well when the chain acts to fulfill demand from trade partners. For example, manufacture a sports team apparel for fans. When a team makes it to the next round, more products are needed. However, for the losing team, demand virtually disappears. Efficient reactive supply chain strategy focuses on the efficiency and cost management of the total delivered cost of finished goods. For example, in supermarket chains, distribution centers, logistics providers, and manufacturers cooperate to replace the goods sold in the shops within less than 24 hours. Flows in supply chains. There are four flows in supply chains. Information flow includes invoices, sales literature, specifications, receipts, orders, and rules and regulations. Primary cash flow includes payments of products and supplies. Primary product flow includes materials, components, supplies, services, and finished products. Reverse product flow includes returns for repair, replacements, recycling, and disposals. Supply chain example. Consider a supply chain model of a bakery who sells a variety of cakes, and this baker is one end of the supply chain. In this case, a supplier is a wholesale food distributor that provides ingredients such as flour, cream, and sugar. The bakery is the producer who turns those ingredients into a variety of cakes. The bakery is operated by an owner who is the retailer and who sells these cakes to the customer. Supply chain in manufacturing. Consider a complex manufacturing supply chain model that appears in corporate supply chains. In this model, you will notice the second tier of suppliers and more distribution centers and customers. These suppliers supply materials as well as services. You put the manufacturing at the center and suppliers of components in the left. The tier one suppliers have their own suppliers in tier two. For example, Tier 1 supplier might be a wholesale food distributor that purchases flour from its own supplier. This supply chain for flour starts from the farmer's wheat field, which is supplied to the food distributor, processed in a plant, shipped to wholesalers, and distributed to the stores. No matter how far you travel toward the left, you will never run out of new tiers of suppliers. Primary product flows from left to right, and primary cash flows from right to left. Supply chain in services. Initially, the supply chain model was developed for manufacturing, but service industry has supply chains too. 
A few examples of services industries are electricity provider, legal advisor, real estate, construction, software house, and even federal government. In its broadest sense, service industries include all organizations except farming, mining, and manufacturing. The lab exhibit illustrates the supply chain of electric utility. It receives products, services, and supplies, and dispenses its services to home customers, commercial customers, and to other utilities. Firms generally pursue one of the two types of supply chain management, vertical integration and lateral or horizontal integration. Vertical supply chain management. It is an arrangement in which the supply chain of a company is owned by that company. Usually each member of the supply chain produces a different product or market-specific service, and the products combine to satisfy a common need. This structure still persists in some companies. Vertical integration enterprise may grow from an entrepreneurial base by adding departments and layers of management, or through mergers and acquisitions. For example, in an attempt to create a self-sufficient enterprise, Ford owned iron ore mines, steel mills, a fleet of ships, manufacturing plants and showrooms that built and distributed the Ford cars. Horizontal integration. It is an expanding of a business by acquiring a similar company in the same industry. It is contrasted with vertical integration, where a company produces different items which are related to one product. The company may do this by internal expansion, acquisition or merger. The process can lead to monopoly if a company captures the vast majority of the market for that good or service. For example, a company that manufactures shampoo may add other brands to appeal to a wider customer base. Benefits of vertical integration Its primary benefit is control. No dependency for components or services. Operations can be synchronized with other company functions. Benefits of lateral integration. They achieve economies of scale and scope. They focus entirely on particular business, so develop more expertise, and they know their market well. Differences between vertical and lateral integration. When a company wishes to grow through a vertical integration, it is seeking to strengthen its supply chain, reduce its production costs, capture upstream or downstream profits, or access downstream distribution channels. However, when a company wishes to grow through a horizontal integration, it is seeking to increase its size, diversify its product or service, achieve economies of scale, reduce competition, or gain access to new customers of the same market. Stages of supply chain management evolution. The advances in supply chain management are reflected in each supply chain's development. There are typically four or five sequential stages globally and within organizations. Starting from stage zero to four, they are stable, multiple dysfunction, semi-functional enterprise, integrated enterprise, and extended enterprise. Every organization falls somewhere within these five stages. Some companies shelter from changes, so they are less advanced. Some took advantages of changes. Supplies there are supposed to be free, okay? 
And then people are supposed to just go there and get their family plan of commodities. And that's a kind of thing. Mga yunmen, so please, ang kanya. But uh, there are reports in the Department of Health that there are some, some of these persons who are uh, instrumental in the redistribution of these supplies. So either nawawal ng supplies, the supplies get exhausted, or they are sold instead of being available. So, if, if, for example, the assignment of your, that you gave to your plan is address the organizational issue that family planning, uh, population, uh, public planning for the community, they have one of the kind of modeling uh, uh, development, decision algorithm, and you make use of supply chain and logistics management. So, maybe, Versus no matter the study, uh, these, uh, these concepts like those uh, who study the game. So, what are the creative developing technology people? And one of the cases could be the place that this particular study. But what I'm saying is, to give you a final to present, to know to present it in every situation or a hypothetical situation. Inspired by this, by this technological video, you can cite real situations, you can cite real cases, and then engage the class in a more uh, practical, uh, strategic planning process, etc. Okay? I think with that, um, Mangyayari Hai, and now I hope that uh, with this very short and action video, you will be challenged and inspired in. Uh, increasing our capacity to become more systems based and at the same time uh, keep the confidence of this system based ways in our world space. Okay, in your Francisco, uh, all available, you can, uh, you can download this in our Facebook site so you can have the whole set of presentation. Thank you. Thank you.